All right, shalom, shalom, Akim. First and foremost, I have to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim Kadash. Let I get double honors to my apostles and elders, a great Muslim who will and tell me this truth according to the Bible. And shalom to all the birds out there, the other folk on the earth, pushing this word and our righteousness and sincerity to the elect, say shalom. And now, this video is going to be a quick testimony. Literally, what I mean, literally, this happened to me less than five minutes ago. You know, and uh, I just want to um, <clears throat> first give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. But, you know, w within that happening, this incident happening, um, it just made me reassure that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is uh, watching out for us or protecting us. Okay. And in these last days, hey, the Lord is going to save us in the nick of time. Okay. And I think that's why I'm going um, to title this in the nick of time. And this is all to the spirit. So. Just quickly get into what's happened. So, you you know, I'm on my usual coming home from work routine, getting off the bus, you know, walking home. And um, as I'm walking home, there's like this another place, uh, I said a storage place in my crib that I got to, you know, walk by. And uh, within that, there's a little opening to get to that uh, to that storage place. And so, you know, like usual, I'm walking, you know, and, and you know, the opening and then there's the sidewalk. And I'm walking like usual. So why when I walk into the opening, nothing's there, you know? And um, you know, cars can pull in, but no car was pulling in. Out of nowhere, a giant, you know, this big S uh had to be like F four one fifty white truck comes out of nowhere on my right hand side. But before I even saw it, spirit told me to, to stop and look to my right. As soon as I looked to my right, that thing was pulling uh, pulling in at a very high speed. And if I would have took another couple steps, I would have, uh, hey, <laughs> I'll just say this, I can, I'll be back in the spiritual realm with the Lord, man. You know, but it was the spirit that just had me stop and look to the right, you know, which I, I didn't, in, in words, I didn't have to because I had the right of way anyway and, you know, and stuff like that. But the Lord had me do that. And on top of that, this car didn't, after, you know, it was only like a head swivel for me to get get away from, you know, my head getting taken off, basically, you know, by either the rear view mirror or just the side of the truck. And the Lord had me do that, but this car still didn't stop, man, okay? And he had that demonic, you know, whatever music he was playing, it was hella demonic, man. He didn't even say sorry or get out the car or nothing, man, okay? But, you know, that happened, and instantly, uh, you know, I praised Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And then, you know, you know, just thought like that was just in the nick of time. OK. And I feel like in the spirit, you know, that that's how the Lord is going to save us in these last days, just in the nick of time. OK. You know, so I want to get these scriptures real fast, showing you that, you know, the Lord is protecting us, you know, or keeping us safe and that he is going to deliver us. But remember, you know, it's going to be at the nick of it's going to be in the nick of time and miraculous. So um, I want to get this real fast. This is Psalms 34 and 3. O oh, magnify Yahweh with me and let us exalt his his name together. Yeah, the names of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, the Heavenly Father, the His only begotten Son, or who the Word and He calls Jesus Christ. Okay? It says, verse 4, I sought Yahweh, okay? Which is Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai had me be a part of His truth, you know, seeking Him, okay? So it's the same thing. This is King David speaking. So it's the same mind frame that brothers have. Okay. It's like, I saw Yahweh by Shemiah Shai. He heard me and delivered me from all my fears. Okay. And that's soon what we're about to experience, man. Okay. We're seeking Yahweh by Shemiah Shai while he still may be found now. All right. While well, the days are not evil yet. And the Lord is going to hear us in the time of our trouble. All right. And deliver us from all of our fears. It says, they looked upon him. Saki, they looked upon him and were enlightened. Their faces were not ashamed, kind, because we look towards Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And our faces are being enlightened with this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of these scriptures. And on top of that, we're not going to be made ashamed because the Lord is always going to come through for his elect, those that believe and trust in him. Okay? Matter of fact, quickly, I want to get a quick precept to that. The book of uh, Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach. Uh. Two and ten, and it reads: It says, "Look at the generations of old." All right, and let's talk about our righteous forefathers. Okay, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, 
you know, uh, Elisha, Elijah, okay, Daniel, Meshach, Shamrach, and Abednego, okay, so on and so forth, righteous men, okay, look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai, and was confounded, that word confounded also goes to the word ashamed, okay, we just read, but King David said they were not ashamed, but, but their faces were lightened, so that answer is no. It says, or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? You know, we fear Yahweh by Shema Shai. And the Lord is the Lord's will we be a party elect, you know, is not gonna forsake us, you know. In that little moment incident, the Lord didn't forsake me, because if he did, he would allow that truck to run me over, man. You know? But he had me stop and he delivered me from that situation. It says, Or whom did he ever despise? That called upon him. And we call upon the names of Yahweh Bashim Shai, you know, in firmness and in faith. All right. And we believe with those names we shall be delivered. Okay. It says, verse 11 For Yahweh Bashim Shai is full of compassion, compassion and mercy, and the Lord was very merciful. Okay. It says, long suffering, very pitiful, and forgiveth sins, and saveth. In time of affliction, and hey, man, I was, that was a little affliction there, man. You know, I literally could have been in the spiritual realm. One one more footstep, and I would have been in the spiritual realm, but the Lord had me stop and, and end up seeing a car and stuff. And I, that's a big thing for me because I can, my, my eyesight is very, um, very, very bad and stuff, you know. And, and <laughs> the Lord has to heal me with this one, you know. So um, now I'm going to go back. See, going back, cause yeah, man, all I could think about is call Holomi how about Shemuel Shai? Cause the Lord didn't have to deliver me, but He did. He had mercy, you know, you know. And we're seeking how about Shemuel Shai? The Lord's gonna have mercy upon those that seek Him. Okay. It says, verse six: This poor man cried, and Yahweh by Shemuel Shai heard him and saved him out of all. His troubles and see that's the thing that's going to happen to the elect of the nation of Israel. Lord's will be a part of that number. The Lord's going to save us out of all of our troubles. Why? Because we cried unto Him and He's going to hear us. Lord's will be a part of the elect. Here's one of the main things I want to get. It says, "The angel of Yahweh by Shemuel Shai and camp around about them that fear Him and deliver them." Okay. We got to remember that. So, Lord, literally, when you want, you know, in spirit, when I said the Lord had me stop, the Lord had the angel stop me, you know, because I don't know what made me stop and look. But that, you know, I do know at the same time, it was the angel of the Lord, okay? The angel of the Lord that was encamped around about me, okay? You know, because why I fear Yahweh by Shema Shai, and Lord's will that fear continues in me, all right? And, 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 and more, it made the fear of the Lord increase. And faith increased, man. Because why? The Lord delivered me out of that situation. Okay? It says, verse 8, O oh, taste and see. That taste means to experience. Okay? And brothers, you know, on a low level, we're experiencing deliverance from, you know, things day to day. Okay? But guess what? The Lord's going to turn up that, that glorious deliverance, man. All right? And we're about to see it real soon, man. All right? When this devil comes in like a flood, Yahweh Bashim is going to lift up a standard. And we're truly going to taste and see, okay, that what? Oh, taste and see that Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is good, okay? It says, blessed is the man that trusted in him. And that blessed means favored, okay? Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor sitteth in the sit of the scornful, okay? Nor standeth in the way of sinners, man, okay? But his delight is in Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, man, okay? All right, hey man, this is this is a beautiful thing, and all I can think of is call Halom Yahweh by Shemuel man. All right, you know, so I didn't want to keep this long. I just want to give that quick testimony to lift up brother's spirits, you know, and hope Lord's will just increase your faith that the Lord is with us. The Lord's gonna deliver us in the time of trouble in the nick of time. So with that, I have to give all praises, honor, and glory to the heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai Bahashim Rukakadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders, a great Muslim who rule well and tell me the truth according to the Bible. And shalom to all the brothers out there throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing this word and our righteousness and sincerity to the elect. Say shalom.